Liverpool are heading back to Wembley and are ready to contest their 14th League Cup final. With the opposition Chelsea, a team Liverpool beat on penalties in the 2022 final, the Reds are favourites. There'll be no complacency though as Liverpool aim for their first piece of silverware this season to kickstart a truly triumphant send-off for Jurgen Klopp. Let's take a look back at how Liverpool reached the League Cup final. As a team with European football, the Reds joined in the third round. Leicester were the first opponents, a championship side with Premier League quality. The Reds conceded first, but they ended up comfortable winners. The match will most fondly be remembered for Dominic Sobber's ice screamer that is one of the most aesthetically pleasing goals we've seen at Anfield. There's just something about how the ball hits the bar that makes it better. I don't have to tell Shoot, he knows that he has he knows better than I that he has a pretty good. It was a less enjoyable but equally as rewarding night as the Reds travelled down to Bournemouth in a storm. This time Liverpool did take the lead, but Justin Clivert's goal, yes, his dad is Patrick, made things complicated. Nunez soon fixed things though with a goal from nothing, and as you can imagine, the away end went mad for him. He really does need a proper song soon. It was a, a top cup game in, in, in strange, strange circumstances. Next up were West Ham and some thought this would be a potential stumbling block. It was anything but though, with Klopp delighted by his team's performance. Sobozai scored another great goal to get the Reds going before Jones slipped one in from this tight angle. He netted another brilliant solo goal to cap a man of the match display also punctuated by these goals from Cody Gakpo and Mo Salah. Into the semi-finals, Liverpool went. With Chelsea losing at Middlesbrough the previous night, Fulham were confident and started the game with intent. What he did with West Ham, you saw what he did with, did with Forrest and just now they won Arsenal. Willian scored and for a while they were the better team at Anfield. That was until the second half when Liverpool turned the screw and a slice of fortune saw Jones' shot deflect in. It only took another three minutes for Gakpo to produce this clever finish. That meant he had scored in all four rounds. For the second leg, Liverpool had a depleted squad, but were thankful they had a lead heading to Craven Cottage. Luis Diaz's early goal meant the Reds could relax a bit. When Diop scored in the second half though, they had to sit up and take notice for the last 15 minutes. I liked our first 30 minutes really a lot, so we were just ready for this game and that's the most important thing. It was nervy but Liverpool held on and there were some great scenes as the players celebrated with travelling fans. So, Chelsea await in the final, and I'm sure we'd take a rerun of the 2022 final now. Whether my nerves could take that vote are another matter.